Okay. Uh, next member. Motor Master slash Powertrain. Yes. Now, I want to talk about how I got this guy. Because when I was looking to get this guy, it was either a game for 400 bucks or more. I got lucky with an auction. So lucky. But hey, I got him now. Nice and complete. Missing the second head though. That can face you can get. Eh. Yes, this is Motor Master in all his glory. And oh boy, he's very good. I love this set so much. Nice little purple gun with some actual bright silver. A bit of grey as well. Face in hand quite simply. And let's get rid of it. He does also come with some other stuff. I've got the platform down here. Now he can hold this thing as a shield, but I can never get it to be done, so I'm not going to bother. He also has the sword. Which we're supposed to open the There we go. Oh. You can open the sword handles so you can hop. Motor Master himself here can hold it. Just tab it in. Mm. Nice. Let's put that in. Right. When you're not using the sword, it can rest along with this battle platform you can make up. It just rests right there. Very nice. If I can Two big guns, some little guns up there. Huge, it's very nice. So this is what you can do with a spare part of Motor Master. Not the best I've seen. It's better than what they generally do now for Masterpiece style Transformers. I think it's this guy and along with the Fans Project Minosaur, they did really go with the spare parts. Anyway. Back onto Motor Master. Very nice. Very nice. I actually like this little spark detail here. What is that? The spark of stunts. Let's hold that back up. Yes. Very nice. Very clean on all sides. Not much else to talk about. Now, Presbyterian head is on a hinge and a swivel. Yeah, go and look around. Arms. Um, full safety about these missile pods up here to get in the way. In and out. So below that. A dull ratchet for the elbow. Wrist, hands can open. Index is separate and the thumbs on the ball joint. There is waist. One skirts can move out of the way. And Nice little soft ratchet for that in it for the Mac and in and out. There is a bit of a swivel, but this and these get in the way. There is not somewhat of a knee. Ankle pivot and swivel. So yeah, he's pretty approachable. Not much in the legs, but because seeing what he has to do, I understand. So let's get into transformations, shall we? We'll do him first, then we'll do the battle platform. So what we want to do is get the pods, put them out of the way, come around the back here, get this obvious crotch out of the way, put this panel and this panel out of the way, this panel will work up, and tab on the top of my master's head. Right. So, get this section down, fold this little section back up, Rotate the hip guards of this up, get the head out of the way, and fold it into there. Put that back down, fold these back down, and get these fans out of the way. So we can do the arms. So for the arms, you want to untab the inner panel so you can fold the fist straight up away, keep it extended. Next, there's a little panel right here. You want, on a double hinge, you want to flip down. And then this panel will rock down and peg onto that panel. Then this whole section will rotate so you have the inner panel facing upwards. So you now rock this whole section up and peg it into place. 
and this panel just fold down, and this panel will fold peg into that one. The other side is pretty much the same. Pretty soon once you get memorize it. Pop down, pop this down. Now this section right here will peg into these panels up here, thus giving a solid lock there. This panel will fold. We'll fold these up and peg them into this panel and these two tabs right there on both sides. They just rest, they're not really tabbing in place. And now you want these to fold out. So this down like that and flip this back up and it will cover the head. There's some panels on the side here you want untab and flip around and tab in. Oh, I forgot to show you that. There's a one this panel right here has set it said that's from generation choice slash transformation. Nice. <laughs> but the hip skirts out. So you can do all of their legs now. So the legs are pretty simple. Go around the back. Untab these it tanks and flip in the grey tab come back around flip this down and you want to flip the grill up and then fold back up and tab it into place so and get the wheels down and they will tap and snap into place okay come back around this purple thing, flap, fold out of the way. Then you want to fold these inner tabs up and out of the way, and then rock around so you can do this. This purple tab will now go back in there. Not before you get the tap. There's a panel hidden in there. You want to flip out. Like so. Give it a collar. Flip that panel back down. Grab this knee area, and tab it and fold it out. It will now cover this and locking somewhere in place. This panel will flip up and around, tab in place, and the intake valve thing will tab in place as well, and then extend the smoke stacks. So I'll quickly do it on the other side. <laughs> tab out. Okay, there's, <laughs> I've left them float out, but there's a peg here that you flip down for something else. Now now tab together, like so, connecting them both together, and now flip this all up, almost finished now, flip these wheel rails around both sides, so, and there's Part of the cab mode. Hello. Okay. Let's do the bow platform now. What you want to do first? Slide this off and this off. You can do a bit of progression here. Little tabs on the side. You want to fold out here, here, and here. He's that's done for now. Now, grab one of the things, separate that part. You want to get this in all. So this section right here will rotate around for a reason. It folds up like that. You want to rotate this ratchet joint inwards so you can get this tab hole right here fold up in line with these tabs and that will just fold up and take into place. Simple and easy. Then we'll go on to here. Like so. 
let's get it done while well, the sword's in there because it's a pain to get when it isn't. Quick to get this side done. That will now just tab together like so, and dab in there, holding it all in place, and we're good. Next is this one, of these things. Simple and easy. This is a you know, untab this panel up, and there's a panel on the inside you want to flip out, and another panel there. To flip out so now this little panel up here will peg into this panel like so and the gun will just flip up so you can do flip the panel up again and now we peg it into this like so and you quickly fix all the joints up and then flip this panel up hold it in place and this panel back here will fold up and peg into place as well so we've got one pump side done. We'll quickly get the other side done. There we go. Grab the gun, pull the main big handle out, and it will peg using four tabs into these pack things here. It's quite a solid connection. Then you got this section, the wheels, and then just peg it on to here. Oh, yeah, I flipped the fucking lump. Go, and there we go. So connect these two parts there is some little tabs here you want to flip down and just drop it down and then the tabs will just fall down and lock it all in place and there we have the whole truck mode and very nice aside from all the panel lines which some people don't like I don't careful but it's a very nice truck mode I think it's supposed to be on par with MP10. Don't have one on the hand. Can't get one at a good, decent price anyway. But yes, very nice little truck mode. And it does rotate using the waist joint. Uh, some things, some are getting waist. You don't want too much of it. What else to say? We'll probably have to get into combined mode for this guy. Actually, you know what? We'll say combine mode for when we're doing the whole combination. So I'll see you all next time for the next guy. Bye.